Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dully Society. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to talk about the Burnside Bibs overalls. Now if you're new to my channel and you like to hear anything about sewing, pattern reviews, fabrics, anything that's in style, any sewing tips, uh, anything of interest to do with the whole sewing community, well you've tuned into the right channel and if you want to make sure you don't miss out on my episodes that are coming up, don't forget to click and subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell and you'll be alerted to when my new episodes come up. Now if you're like me and you're heading towards 50 and you feel like fashion may have forgotten people like us, don't be alone because I think that we as sewists are starting a revolution because nobody is going to be able to tell us what to wear. Um, we can choose our own style. The beauty is with sewing is that we can make whatever appeals to us. doesn't matter what age we are because really society has no right to tell us what to wear at a certain age. Um, sometimes you'll see on the internet there's clickbait um, sites that will say women over 40 shouldn't have hairstyles like this. Women over 50 shouldn't wear um, certain colours because they don't do themselves any justice. Says who? A lot of those rules are created by makeup manufacturers and magazines and social influencers to make you, to target you, to buy what they want to sell you. But we as sewers are able to sew what, whatever we want in whatever fabric we want, whatever style we want, to really cater for our own needs. And I think as far as being told what we can and can't wear i think that we are pushing the boundaries there because there are so many women especially heading towards their 50s and a little bit older that feel that we have been forgotten by fashion for a long time now for a long time i've been feeling uninspired by what's been in the stores especially the things that are catered towards the 40 to 50 year old age market i think that people tend to feel very left out and forgotten the same thing with size inclusiveness. A lot of people from varying different sizes that haven't been able to find what they want to suit their own personality, they've looked into sewing to help them form an outlet as far as their wardrobe goes to let their own personality shine through. A lot of fashion in the high street stores you'll see for um, especially targeted for women in their 40s and 50s and 60s, even older than that, is very shapeless, very subdued colours and prints. It's really there it's kind of a void where you can't really find much as far as if you want to have something with a bit of shape and a bit of bright color or even just a good quality fitted garment it's very hard to find now, the reason i'm talking about this is because things like what i've got on today in the burnside bibs overalls a lot of people will uh, i've heard so many people say before with jumpsuits and overall bib and brace style things oh i'm too old to wear that or i can't wear that because it's it's for a younger person the fact is, and the beauty for sewing is that you can tailor that um, overall or jumpsuit to be worn, um, to make it out of a fabric that you know would suit you, that's more your own personality. So you can make things more subdued. If you, if you feel that a print um, overall like this is too much for you or too loud for you, really it's not because um, I think any age can wear anything and can pull anything off depending on the confidence the person has got that's wearing it what they wear with it you like the style of something you can change it you can make it a more basic color and wear a bright color top underneath if that's more your thing so there are really so many ways around that that you can still wear a garment still still pull it off talking about the Burnside bibs this is a pattern I'd had that printed out for quite a while that I was a little bit scared to make because I thought it might look a bit juvenile on me or it's something that a younger person would probably wear and then I thought well you know what there's no rule to say that a woman heading towards 50 can't wear an, a bib and brace or a, a jumpsuit or an overall style of pattern as long as they've got the fit right and the fit looks flattering on them and it you know it's it's comfortable the main thing with me is it has to be comfortable it has to be easy to get on and off and I wanted something that wasn't too difficult to sew as well. Now, I've seen so many versions of this on uh, Instagram that I had just fallen in love with. And I thought there were so many different shapes and sizes of people wearing it as well, which was a huge draw card for me. Because then you can see something that's similar to your body shape and that sort of thing. It can be worn various different ways. Um, I like the fact that you can dress this up or down as well. And it can be worn for all seasons and you can also adapt the leg length and width as well. Now I've opted for the version with the, uh, the gathered back. So there's one version that's got a side zip and darts in the back the, and a different neckline. The other version has got 
no zips and no fastings but has got more gathering in the back so a little bit more fabric bulk there and a little bit more ease in the garment but i wanted to make sure um with knowing we're not knowing with fittings how sort of much ease it would have i wanted to make sure it was going to go on me i chose the size 14. the um size range is very inclusive it comes from a double o up to a size 20 so quite a big range there i used about three meters of a cotton linen fabric that i bought from spotlight now this cotton linen is beautiful to wear um it's just it washes up lovely it's comfortable we had gone out for the day i'll put some footage up of me wearing this we've gone had a picnic and we'd had a, um, a drop we've been driving around all day and it was very very comfortable to wear and the good thing is that you can go out for a big lunch and quite easily adjust your waist tie to how full you're feeling so there's no um, set sort of waistband there you can really let it all out <laughs> Thing I love about Sew House 7 patterns is they have the most beautiful pockets. They have patch pockets on the front without all that bulk of having the inseam pockets. So a lovely shape, a lovely flattering shape pocket. Now I'll give you a little bit of a twirl. You can see the back, what I mean about the gathering. So the the um the ties cross over at the back and then they thread through your belt loops and then you'll pull that in and fasten it to create your cinched in waist. So with this I'll give you a little bit of a look. So you can see that the ties go across the back go through the belt loops you can cinch it in you'll have a little bit of gathered fabric there and that will then create that nice paper bag effect waistline and then you can really wrap the tie around to whatever kind of you can have it tied at the back there is quite a few ways to tie this and they explain that on the actual pattern envelope but i like it tied just at the front side bit there you can also use contrasting ties that's another thing too i've seen a lot of very little birdies a lot of people use contrasting ties or they might want to put their patch pockets in a different color i've seen that done as well i've also seen it done in uh, canvas denim linen chambray's drills as well work really well on this too so you can so see with this cotton linen it's still got a bit of structure like a chambray might be a little bit softer but it really just depends on what kind of a look you want to you want to use for your um for your bibs there are a lot of these on instagram as i say they've been patterns been around for quite a while now so have a little look on there design this um as i say to be worn over long sleeves short sleeves shirts i've seen them done over a nice um, button-up blouse can look really effective as well if you have a plain color like a plain color black in these would be a perfect um, thing to have in the wardrobe to really accessorize with so look you don't have to look juvenile i think it really just depends on your own unique style and what you want to bring to your bibs yourself i just think that sometimes a loud um, bright print can look really appealing with a plain t-shirt with that black white navy or gray so if you want to tone it down a little bit that's the best way to do it the color of your background can sometimes affect that as well so if you have a darker background with a bright print it can subdue it a little bit um, a white background will always make the colors stand out and pop out a bit more but for summer time here in australia this is a, is a lovely garment to wear um, it's cool it's comfortable and it's practical with the pants so what more could you want so I think we as women have to remember that we can be brave. We can wear things that we've been scared of for a long time and we can really personalize it to what uh, we know we would wear ourselves. And the fabric choice is a big thing there. Don't be scared of a print. Um, I actually looked, when I looked online for these, I didn't find any prints and I was a little bit worried that the print might look too much, but I actually had this fabric put aside to make a dress with, and I couldn't really find the, the dress that was um, appealing to me with this fabric. Um, <laughs> it's nice outside today. It's quite an intermediate make. There's a few little things on this that might be a bit scary for a beginner, but I think that if you took your time and as a beginner sewer, you could certainly pull this off. I just think the, the important thing to remember is not to rush through it. There's quite a few steps and there's a few processes there that you might not have done before. If you're like me and you do not like turning ties inside out, especially narrow ties, they've given another option to do the ties like a flat fold, almost like how you would make a bias binding and stitch along the edges. And I 
opted for that because I know that you can turn um, ties inside out with that overlocker method with having that long string at the end pulled through. But because of linen can be quite sticky and quite hard to pull inside out, that to me um, just would have made no sense at all. So I just think that having that double uh, layered method and then stitching on the sides can really save you a lot of time. That guards it. You can make these in a shorts version, uh, the three quarter length and the long leg version uh, can be great for winter, especially in something like a denim or a heavier weight canvas. It really depends on what you want to, um, what kind of look you want to give it and what time of the year you want to wear these as well. So the thing I would say about these is a little bit tricky is the going to the bathroom issue because you've got the crossover back that threads through the belt loops and ties up and then brings in the waist. So as you can see here, this back area here needs to be threaded through so you need to unthread that to go to the toilet. You can actually uh, leave it still in the belt loops and loosen it. But I have heard the version with the side zip is a little bit easier for doing that. So really, it depends on how much you love a jumpsuit and um, and how much you want to wear it, that things like that could annoy you. But personally, for me, I think it's worth it because I love the look of it. It's, um, it's a lovely garment to wear. Whatever you feel good in is what you should be wearing. So if something in particular that you are looking at... Um, you're not quite sure whether the, the bright loudness of the patterns and colours is your thing, but you know that would suit you. The fact is you can make it in any colour, fabric or style that you want. Um, really, there is no boundary on and that. And I shall see you very shortly for another new episode. Bye for now.